Welcome back from the break. As G2 continues to look strong as they take down Misfits Gaming and take their revenge from round one. Mickey, thank you for joining me. Was that a strategic decision to not take the drag, like take the game to the Dragon Soul and avoid the other Drake fight? Yeah, for sure. We were talking about it that maybe we should uh, not really let Elder Drake spawn. And I mean, honestly, we could have ended the game maybe on the third Drake. But yeah, I think I landed three man ult, but my Oriana was not ready. So then the fight after, I had to tell him beforehand, I'm going in. Are you ready? So then he was ready, and then we ended the game. So yeah, it was longer than it had to be because, you know, Oriana had to be a bit micromanaged, but it happens. <laughs> Overall, like, your Rakan had a lot of impact throughout the game, and we've been seeing a lot of Rakan in LDC recently. Can you please let me know how what Rakan brings to the table when someone decides to pick Rakan into the comp? Um, I mean, I think most people just kind of pick it into Braum, and that's, like, kind of wh why we decided to pick it. It's also a good lane with Tristana. Uh, it's good into Aphelios, and we're also kind of planning to play Orianna, and Orianna Rakan is, like, a pretty strong teamfight combo. And also... With Rakan, you kind of need some frontline, so Zin kind of filled that role as well. And Zin also can serve as the primary engage, and Rakan is really good at following up. So I think that's usually... I think that was a really good game for Rakan, yeah. Overall, this was like a really strong delivery from G2, and you guys finished the week on 2-0. Like, none of the narratives around G2 has been trust the process, we are improving, you know, Believing what else is bringing the table, are you happy with the progress that G2 has been recently been making in the LEC? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Like I think compared to Spring Split, we are much more versatile and I think just better. Uh, even though the regular split, last split was better, like score-wise, I think we're still better this time around. Even though, well, we just made playoffs now. Um, I think we're like the fifth team to make it. But yeah, I still feel pretty confident that in playoffs we can win it all. Yeah. Um, this is a question that I also asked to Yankos recently, but now that G2 has a few win more wins under their belt, as well as made it to the playoffs, by the way, congratulations. Where would you realistically put G2 in the standing in terms of their pure performance and form and delivery? Uh, I think right now, I would probably put us like, eh, around third, but because uh, yeah, I still, need, still have some stuff to work on and I feel like Rogue and Fnatic are better than us currently but yeah I think with some more time we're gonna be the best yeah and today we saw a lot of upsets you know Mad Lions taking Rogue down and Fnatic also taking a loss away from their match what are your confidence level on the playoffs that now you have made it because in the Spring Split everyone believes in G2 in all the playoffs but this was the first final in a while where Juju didn't necessarily make it to the finals? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we just kind of learned a lot from last split and well, we probably won't make the same mistakes again. And I think it kind of shows in our play right now. I think we're doing a lot better. Uh, I think our early games got much better. Uh, drafts as well, very important part of the game that we improved on. And yeah, especially with, I guess, Rogue and Fnatic dropping some games. It gives us more hope as well that, well, <laughs> we can probably beat them in a few weeks when we play them. So, yeah. Can I please ask you to iterate on what are some of the mistakes that you wanted to improve for this season? Because earlier you actually said that, hey, we look like we were in a better form in the spring season. Mm, I think a, lot, a big part was not playing very well as a team. I think drafting was a problem. Uh, champion pool. Um, early game was sometimes a bit rough. I think we were really behind a lot of the games in early game. And yeah, we didn't really have a lot of game plans, it felt like. And, but now we always have some kind of game plan in the early game that we play around. And yeah, it's much easier to actually proceed with the game. And our Drake setups are much better, so yeah. Oh wow, thank you for your insights and good to see G2 continue to rise towards the LEC. Congratulations again on making it to the playoffs and best of you. luck for the rest of the LEC. Thank you.